Let's talk secrets, and no, this is not some sort of gimmick secret. I'm not saying it's a holy grail, but in some ways I am saying it's a holy grail because I would argue that unless you have the ability to do what I'm gonna walk you through here, you're not going to get better as a day trader, swing trader, or quite frankly, anywhere in life. But I'm gonna keep it narrow down here to day trading because without this, and yeah, I'll use the word skill, you're not gonna find yourself making the progress you're gonna want to be making. You're gonna find yourself in a spot that you just don't like, don't wanna be in. Unjustifiably in a position that I'd rather not be in. So a little context here, on my website, claydraw.com, there's a contact form that you could submit in if you have questions, and that's where this whole discussion is taking place. So let's get into it, and uh, we'll start to unpack it as we go. So they say, great content on YouTube. Cannot afford the $2,500 for your course. Do you have a preview course or anything else? So no problems there. I realize everybody's at different financial parts in their life. I commend this person. Okay, they're wanting to make an investment in themselves, make an investment in their, their education. Fantastic, they can't afford it. So do they have? do I have some sort of preview course and I've never really heard that term but I assumed it was okay just some sort of beginner some sort of kind of just initial type course that would be geared to at least get the person started so let's keep on going I say hi TanQ you could use this and then I link them to a payment plan that I offer and the way that payment plan works is with each payment you'll get a class so in my mind I'm thinking okay well with payment one which is much smaller than the normal price you would get class number one, which would offer as a preview course. That was my that was my logic. They say, thank you, still too much money. Only bits and pieces did not make sense. Have a day. I think they meant have a good day. Now, do you see something that maybe catches your eye, maybe has you a little bit confused? Let's stop and break down a couple of their points. Hey, do you have a preview? Do you have a preview course? That was their original thing. And now they're saying, Okay, well, bits and pieces don't make any sense, to which I do agree with. So they're right. If you're just getting bits and pieces of information, things are not going to make sense. I totally agree with them. But they're just, as one minute they're asking for pretty much a piece, pretty much a bit via, okay, do you have a preview course? And now the very same thing they're asking about, they're saying, well, those things don't make sense. So, and like I said, I, at this point, I'm saying, well, I don't know, is that actually what they meant? Uh, and, and I'm with you, so let's keep on going. So I asked, how is the preview course not also bits and pieces? So just trying to seek some clarity because right now I feel as though I may be misunderstanding them because there do, does seem to be an apparent contradiction here to say, hey, do you have a preview course? Meaning they want a preview course and then when they get one, well, no, preview courses, those don't make sense because they're just bits and pieces. It's okay, well, I mean, wh which is it? Not sure why you argue with me. Not nice service. Good day. Now here's where things start to be revealed. Where did this come from? Somehow in their mind, me questioning them is causing them to say that I'm not nice. Now why does it come across that way to them? Because they realize that I've just pointed out an inconsistency in their logic. And there's nothing wrong with that in and of itself because that's how you're going to grow. That's how you're gonna get better. That's how you ultimately learn. Think about it. When you learn, it's because you were thinking about something a wrong way. And by definition, you had the wrong logic. You had the wrong reasoning. You had the wrong facts. But you just had some sort, in some way or another, inconsistency within your thinking. And that's what a teacher is gonna do. No, that's wrong because, and they'll give you some sort of answer. And the thing here is that I was just simply asking questions, yet they're jumping to this. But why, at least, again, I'm just speculating, but I think why it's me coming across as not nice is because I've kind of poked at something where it's not really consistent. So they're thinking, oh, ugh, well, that's not nice. But that's not how you're going to grow. You should be open to feedback. Now, I'm the first to admit, sometimes people are coming at you and it is just, it's not good, it's not healthy, it's not beneficial. That's totally fine. But at least in my opinion, and from what I've shown you, I don't think I came across that way at all. I don't think that asking some questions is coming at this person in any sort of wrong way. But what is happening is they've noticed an inconsistency. And they felt that inconsistency, but instead of saying, oh yeah, that is an inconsistency, let me reflect on this, let me think through this, what have they done? They've, been, they, they've gotten offended. Well, th that's not nice. And now I just feel so confused. And being still confused, how is me asking you a question arguing? I'm trying to better understand. So once again, I'm trying to give this person the benefit of the doubt. Wait a second, 
How, how is me, how is, I'm literally just asking questions. How are questions a form of arguing here? Just trying to better understand. I mean, that's all I'm trying to do. I'm trying to just, hey, I'm trying to help out here. So let's, let's, let's try to stay on the same page. Very aggressive, man. Thank you for your time. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? And right there is just kind of the cherry on top. I, I'm being very aggressive. You're not going to improve if you can't take even the slightest bit of somebody questioning your logic, somebody questioning your consistency or lack thereof. And nobody's, and you have to be open to the fact that maybe the person doing that is just because they're trying to help. They're not trying to be mean. They're not trying to be a hater. They're not trying to kick you when you're down. They're just trying to help. Or in this situation, <laughs> just trying to understand and try to get some sort of clarity about what you're actually saying. Just because somebody's doing that, defaulting automatically to, that's not nice. Wow, that's very aggressive. You're gonna get stuck in a spot and you're never gonna progress, whether it's day trading or anything else. So you need to have the ability to take feedback. You need to have the ability to look in the mirror and say, you know, maybe I got this wrong. Maybe my logic is off. Maybe just simply, maybe I wasn't as clear as what I thought I was. And this person's seeking clarity and that's all they're doing. They're not being aggressive. They're not being not nice. They're just seeking clarity because perhaps I didn't explain it clearly enough. And we've all been there. So there's no shame in that. I mean, I do it all the time. I'm like, what are you talking about, Clay? And I'll say, like, whoa, that was aggressive. No, I was like, oh, okay, let me clarify myself. Let me try to say it in another way. But these are skills that are ultimately at the core learning skills. And in order to progress as a trader, you've got to be able to learn. So learning is a skill and you got to be able to allow others to point things out about you that are either wrong or I'm choking on my own spit here, but uh, I, <laughs> I will leave that in, Nate, that's okay. Uh, that are either wrong or maybe you just need to clarify yourself a little bit more. So I hope this helps and I wish this first thing, nothing about the best. I still, we're not quite sure, if you happen to watch this, I'd, I'd love for you to clarify what you meant by this because as it stands right now, it seemed a bit of a, a, a contradiction, um, but I meant no ill will towards you, Tan, Tan Q, I think your name is. I just trying to understand better so I could try to, to help you out a little bit in terms of what your thought process was. But um, be open to feedback, be okay with somebody questioning your con lack of consistency or a lack of, you know, whatever it may be, your lack of clarity, because we've all been there before and, uh, you know, odds are the person that is questioning you is just trying to help out. So I hope this helps and uh, yeah, develop this skill because it really is the secret to growing and improving. Gotta be able to take feedback, gotta be able to take a little bit of questioning of your logic. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too, good, way too good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.